seed in this World Championship tournament. Here's the other Lopez. There are two Lopezes. And uh, it's the Brazilian who's out, the Cuban, from the other end of the bracket. He's an unseeded fighter. But being Cuban, of course, you know he's magnificent. And uh, indeed, he's made it all the way through to this final. Kazak, who won the Asian Championships in 2013. He's 9-3 in the World Series of Boxing, which will kick off again in under a month's time. 25 years old. Will this be his moment to take the World Championship? As for Yasnir Lopez, well, he might be unseated, but at the World Championships in 2011, he took the silver medal, the Olympic Games, he took the bronze, and uh, well, when uh, the other fighters saw he was one of the unseeders that got drawn into their side of the bracket, they must have been nervous. Our judges from Ireland, Philippines, Greece, England, and Puerto Rico, and it is Mr. Albino Fotti of Italy that is our referee for this 64 kilo class men's light welterweight world championship bout. Three three minute rounds were underway. Mary Axelov of Kazakhstan in red and the Cuban Yasnir Lopez in blue. Well, what a clash this is gonna be. Lopez, Southpaw fighter, likes to move. Very fluid, but so is the Kazakh. Akshalov beat Everton Lopez of Brazil, the world ranked number one. Lopez had a tough outing against the Mongolian. Munk Erden Uranchipeg. Lopez is going to want to use the ring. Try and counter. Axelov closing it down. Damage to the left eye of Yasnia Lopez in that clash yesterday. This team have done a good job of closing that up. Axelov. Probably looking to drop a right hand on it. See if he can cause problems for the Cuban fighter. Good combination. Right, left, right. Axelov really trying to impose himself here now. Buoyed on by the crowd. Very physical, trying to close down the theater of operation for the Cuban. And that left eye problematic already for Lopez well is he going to call the doctor up yes he is and that's a big worry for Cuba always in uh, world championships part of your strategy has got to be to try and keep yourself fit and well so that should you make it to the final you're not going to have these problems fortunately he's allowed to continue but uh, that's going to be problematic well, what's known as a bull for uh, Lopez, he's actually uh, boxed more rounds than Axelov has. He didn't get a bye in the first round. Despite being an Olympic bronze medalist, he just isn't seeded in this tournament. So he had to fight in the round of 64. 15 rounds now he's fought. Well, Axelov bringing the action now. Starting to pressurize Lopez. The Cuban trying to dance, keep out of trouble, and work the counter. But this is a strong round for Mere Akshalov of Kazakhstan. And Akshalov trying to break, but the Cuban hugging. round one both looking fairly happy with their performance Axelov though of Kazakhstan just seemed to be a little bit more aggressive in this first round 
cause problems for Lopez. Lopez probably came into this psychologically disadvantaged because of that damaged eye. Wanted to keep out of trouble, maybe play the long game, but Akshalov right on him from the get-go, pressurized early on. Well, the judges have seen it the way of Axelov. 10-9, all that aggression, that work rate has paid off. And the Cuban, who has uh, indeed fought more rounds to get here, has got to wake up to the task now. He looked magnificent against Orantumek in the semi-finals yesterday. He just looks a little lackluster. He gets a big hug from his coach there, who slaps him, saying, come on, wake up, get on with the task. So, Cuba in blue. Axelov of Kazakhstan in red, leading after round one. Oh, that was a brilliant few shots there to get the crowd on their feet. Yeah, absolutely fiery exchange now. Lopez realizes in this second round he can start to loosen up now. They can manage that eye and he can get to work doing what he does. So a little bit more aggression from the Cuban. Still shuts his man down, and he gets too close. Akshalov just bringing the aggression, stepping up the pace. Very, very aggressive exchange from Akshalov. Starting to take control now, the Kazakh. And Lopez holding on. And Lopez struggling. Not being allowed to operate. Strategy for the Kazakh to close that ring down. Lopez needs the space to move. Needs the space to start slipping. Moving off his man, turning him. He's not being allowed. Well, Axelov has uh, set off at a cracking pace again. Almost two minutes into this second round, and he's still going some. You wonder whether he'll tire or not. No doubt being driven on by the sheer excitement and adrenaline of being in front of his home crowd. Lopez off target. Managing to come inside, but every time he does, he doesn't land squarely. And this hugging at the moment isn't doing him any favors. The shoulder of Akshalov, the right shoulder of Akshalov going up into the eye of Lopez in the clinches. And he's desperate to try and protect that eye, Lopez. So no nip and tuck, no silky evasive skills from Lopez today. Seems very off form. Kazakh desperate to break from the clinch. And it all looks very basic from the Cuban, given the performance yesterday, where it was uh, almost a masterclass. Now on his toes, Lopez. Axelov just won't let him go. Dying seconds, and the Kazakh athlete has once again, for work rate, punches thrown. He's been outstanding, and the Cuban looks tired. He looks uh, right now to be struggling with the sheer work rate of the Kazakh. Well, much more accurate. The shots were heavier, and Akshalov much more on point during that round. And he, he just won't leave him alone. Akshalov is just continually marching forward. And of course the Cuban holding him when he gets there to try and slow him down, give him space to move off and then land some shots when he goes. But this is how the judges saw it, uh, all in favour of Axelov again. Uh, as expected there, he was the busier, the more aggressive, the more dominant, all things the judges are looking for in this 10-point must system. They're shouting Axelov, Axelov in the crowd. Final round then, will the Kazakhs get another world champion? This men's light welterweight world championship bout, just three minutes to go, and Axelov in red for Kazakhstan 
is in a commanding position after two rounds. Lopez with all the work to do here. He knows it. Worried about the eye, but he's going to have to throw caution to the wind and get to work here. He's not been allowed to fight his own game. Akshalov has been right up close and personal right from the get-go. Not a great variation of shots, actually, from Akshalov. Happy to power his way in and make good, solid left-right connections. But Lopez just hasn't done enough here. And going to the clinch to close his man down not really gone in favour, especially with the judges scoring. Needed to be slicker here, Lopez. Needed a little bit of nip and tuck. We're not seeing it. Well, maybe some magic now in the third round. That's what the Cuban is known for. Low guard, the hands are down. Maybe at last Lopez has found his rhythm. But just look at Akshalov. Right up close, closing the distance and uh, really making life hard for Lopez. There you see the Lopez of old dancing, moving off his man, turning. To go into the center of the ring and go toe to toe with Akshalov, not a great strategy. It's a great finish for Lopez, but I fear it's probably come too late in this bout. He just looks like a man who could have done with another couple of days rest. It somewhat reminds me of what Barnes had to say uh, a few days ago, saying he, he came out again the next day in the quarterfinals, still with blurred vision from a hard fight the day before. Lopez just doesn't look ready for this. He's uh, putting up a valiant effort here, 30 seconds to go. Uh, to considering the Kazakh is two rounds up, I'm afraid it's going to be uh, too little too late again. Well, he absolutely looks off point, Lopez. We're seeing flashes of that magic, but it's not enough. It's not sustained enough. To so try to move away, move off his man, but look at the confidence of the Kazakh. That is it, round three's over. The Cuban raises his arms. But I think we know who have won this. I think 4,000 people in this stadium knows who has won this. Mere Axelov of Kazakhstan. He looked fresh, he looked fit, and extremely fast. And I'm afraid for Lopez, it may well be yet another world championship silver. Well, we saw a flash of the Lopez we know in the last part of this round. But uh, to throw his hands up at the end of that, well, he's running east looking for a sunset. On his toes, though, towards the end. Some good exchanges, but really the sheer dominance of Akshalov prevalent. So the gold medalist, the world champion, men's light welterweight, is Mere Akshalov of Kazakhstan. Ten to the Cuban in the final round, but all had seen it the first two rounds going to Axelov. Axelov is world champion. The Kazakhs will hear their national anthem again. What a moment! What a tournament they are having. Well, there's some four and people up on their feet screaming with delight cheering this young man the energy surge he's having right now as he dances away what a magnificent moment world champion on home soil now the judges scorecards well 9-10 to Lopez in the final round he did indeed get busy Absolutely, but not enough, and um, I suspect fatigued, the...